Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So I have another tool review. Now I'm going to be upfront and honest. Uh, Banggood uh, sent these tools to me at no cost. Um, I don't get anything out of them other than if I do a review I get to keep the tooling. Now from an amateur's point of view, um, uh, you know, I just want to know if, these tooling, uh, if this tooling will work for me. Okay? The, uh, you know, if you have a big machine shop or you know, if you're an advanced uh, uh, hobbyist or something, maybe not, I don't know, but I think, uh, I think that maybe they'll work for me and I'm going to see. So um, again, I just want to stress that I didn't, I didn't pay for these. Uh, the deal was that if I do a review, bang goods that I can keep the tooling. So uh, let's uh, bring the camera over here to the bench and let's see what we got to take a look at and let's get started. Okay, what Banggood sent me was uh, a set of ER32 collets. It's a 12 piece set going from, I think, eighth inch up to three quarter um, by sixteenths and one uh, uh, fractional size. Can't remember what, what it was, but uh, we'll find out here in just a minute. And uh, also received a uh, M3 uh, Morse Taper 3 to ER32 collet chuck and a wrench. Now, uh, this all came in a bag uh, together. Um, these were wrapped in here. Uh, they had uh, packaging. I did open it up because I had to make a draw bar. So uh, my son Zach and I spent a little time uh, yesterday to make a draw bar. Uh, the part that screws into the collet uh, chuck is M12 by 175, 1.75. And of course, I just done half inch 13 on the draw side. And then I uh, had a piece of scrap that I made a bushing out of. So we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so let's take a look here. And we'll start, uh, of course, you guys have all seen a collet wrench. So there's nothing nothing great there. It does, does have a soft handle. Uh, so that's good. Uh, all right, so the collet chuck is uh, Morse Taper 3. ER32, the nut feels pretty smooth, and when I open this up, let's see if you can see in there, it's got a pretty good, it's ground, it looks like it's ground all around, um, like I said, the, the nuts, or the, uh, the collet threads feel pretty smooth, so maybe that's, that's a bonus. Alright, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the collets. All right, so here's a, uh, this is a 9 16 collet. They're uh, each uh, wrapped in a bag and it looks like it's well oiled. The uh, collets um, are nice and they're ground. I mean, they look, they look okay to me. I'm not seeing any obvious flaws. I'm not seeing uh, any swarf or anything like that in there so uh, let's take another one and and see what uh, it looks like just as a comparison I'll just grab the next one up front this is a uh, this is a 5 16th so let's uh, open it up again it's well oiled and looks like it's a ground collet I'm not seeing any swarf or anything embedded in it so it looks pretty good so I think what we're going to do is uh, come over to the lathe and um, and uh, see what uh, see what we got in terms of run out and we'll do some benchmarks on the lathe um, so I'll, I'll see you over there okay I'm over at the headstock of the lathe now the Atlas lathe has a uh, Morse Taper 3 and uh, what I have here is a Morse Taper 3 finish reamer. And so all I really want to do is I just want to come in here and just lightly brush the uh, taper just to make sure that there aren't any high spots or anything like that. Um, just sort of so that I can get the best uh, possible readings that I can. And uh, all right, so I'm just like I said, I'm just brushing this taper to make sure that there's no no little nicks or burrs. And 
and let's wipe it out real good. Yeah, it's pretty clean, actually. All right. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to, I'm going to determine what condition is um, the taper in. So if there's run out in the taper, obviously that's going to be, um, that's going to be seen in, um, in the call it too. So I'm going to try to, let's see here. Get this in here and we'll preload it. All right, so I'm in about a quarter of an inch. All right, let's see if I can get the zeroed out. Okay, it's pretty close. And hopefully, let's see. I hope that's not washed out too bad. So let's let's uh, spin the. All right, this is a five tenths indicator, and. So I'm seeing maybe maybe five tenths run out in my spindle. Okay, so now we're gonna I'm gonna move in just a little further, like so. touchy well, I'll tell you what we're just gonna go relative so I'm about one and a half there hopefully you can see that give it a spin and I'm seeing virtually no run out okay so we know at worst case you know maybe a half tent um, or five tenths rather uh, of run out. I'm not really seeing any run out further up, so I'm thinking that my spindle's probably pretty good. So let's get the uh, let's get the uh, let's get the uh, chuck uh, on the draw bar and mount it in there. Okay, so I have the uh, I have the draw bar uh, threaded into the collet chuck here. I just want to make sure this taper is good and clean. And let's get it through the headstock here. Oh, well, that's probably good for it. All right, so let's get the nut back here and or I can throw it around. You know, I throw everything on the floor. I think it's uh, good luck or something. Of course, now you know these are uh, Morse tapers are considered self-holding tapers, so it doesn't take a whole lot of force to uh, lock them down. All right, so now we got the collet chuck in there. Let me, uh, let me get the indicator set up and let's uh, take a couple measurements inside the uh, collet chuck opening. Okay, so I have the indicator setting just inside the, uh, the ground chuck about an eighth inch. So let's see what kind of run out we're getting there. All right, so I'm seeing I'm seeing about two and a half thousandths run out in the chuck uh, at that spot. So let's move a little closer in, or a little further in rather. So I'm now about three eighths of an inch or so in there. Okay, let's see what we got there. So that looks to be about the same, about two and a half thou run out. 
Now we know that uh, my spindle has about a half a thou run out. So we're looking at about two thousandths run out uh, for the chuck. Now, you know, that might change maybe if uh, um, I repositioned it in the spindle, but um, we're going to go with that. So about two, two and a half thou run out. And let's take one more reading a little deeper in. Well, I tell you what, you breathe on these things, they move. Hmm. Okay, it's close enough. Okay, again, about two and a half thou run out. So the uh, run out in the um, collet truck is pretty consistent. All right, so let's uh, let me get uh, find some round stock here of some sort that uh, I feel comfortable measuring on, and let's put a collet in and see what we got. So I'll catch you here in a few minutes. Okay, so I have the uh, half inch collet, and see if you can see that. It uh, just like the other ones I looked at, it seems to be ground all all over. All right, so this is a this is a piece of half inch uh, drill rod, uh, so I'm, I'm sure that it's probably fairly round. So, all right, it snaps in good. All right, let's tighten it up. Let's uh, take some measurements on the rod close to the chuck and a little further out and see what we get. So let me get the uh, indicator set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the uh, dial indicator in here and, and I'm about, uh, about a quarter inch away from the face of the chuck. So let's see what we got there. So I'm seeing... about two thousandths run out. So let's move further away from the chuck and see what we got. Further out, looks like I got looks about like eight thousandths of run out. Okay, so close in it was about two thousandths. Further out, it's about eight thousandths. But now I don't know really the the condition of this uh, bar and now uh, you know I don't know if it's slightly bent or anything else so let me get another collet and a, and a piece of drill rod that I have a uh, smaller diameter that's new and uh, we'll come back and check it okay so I have some 125 thou uh, drill rod here uh, that I bought for steam engine build that I'm doing so let's uh, let's try this one out
Alright. And uh, let me get this set up and we'll see what we got. Okay, so I have the uh, eighth inch drill rod uh, in the chuck and uh, let's see what it reads. Alright, so that one looks like it's about one and a half thou out. Um, I don't know if it would do any good on such thin material to try and measure out because um, I don't know that the material is straight. So let me see if I can find, I don't know, something maybe like a quarter inch end mill or something like that. And, and let's see what the uh, quarter inch collet uh, has and then we'll come back. Okay, so I grabbed the uh, quarter inch uh, collet and I have a this is a, I think a 3 uh, or a 16th inch or whatever. This is an end mill. I use on my CNC router. It's got a quarter inch shank and it ain't going in there at all. That way. But uh, now, so I thought, well, you know, I'll just pull the collet out and stick the, um, stick the end mill in, right? Because it, it will go in that way. But then I can't, I can't get it to, pop in the holder into the collet nut. So I think, I wonder if I got a, uh, maybe a six mil um, collet mismarked as a quarter inch. So, cause there's about, you, you can fill that, you can fill that spring in and out when you put the uh, collet in there. All right, so let me, uh, let me grab a drill bit and another one and, and let's try one more time. Okay guys, this is the last one I'm going to do. So this is a 7 16 um, It slides in there just fine, so I'm not sure what was going on with the quarter inch thing. And Alright, snug this. I can only get down here close to the thing, so let me uh, see if I can get this. Okay. All right, let's see what we got in this one here. Hopefully you can see the dial. Okay, and it's got about two thou run out. Okay, so um, my preliminary uh, statement here is that I, I think the collets are probably okay in terms of the way that they're ground because they, they all run out the same which is about two thousandths and if you remember that's what we've seen this collet chuck so let's uh let's go over to the bench and let's uh let's talk about this for a few minutes okay so i went through all the collets and uh, of course i used drill bits because i was kind of curious as to why the quarter inch didn't fit but now the qu there's a quarter inch ball mill that i use on my cnc router and it goes in there just fine so I don't know if um, because it was the sharp edge that I couldn't get in there or what, that I thought it was smaller, uh, but a quarter inch does fit in there, okay? So um, that's, that really was a non-issue, um, you know, after, after I dug into it. Now, I did take the time to look at all the collets. Uh, I could find no swarf or anything inside the, the uh, slots, you know, where they were, they were cut. They all seem to be ground about the same. So... Um, the uh, the only thing I can say is that I think the collets are probably okay. Um, the chuck is uh, like I said, it's uh, it has about two two thou run out um, in the in the taper, and that shows up on every test that I've done, at least close to the uh, close to the uh, chuck as I could. And then of course I got further out. The uh, you know it was uh, at least on the half inch bar I have, but I have no real good stock to test it with. So I think um, I think uh, for what it is, um, and let me uh, tell you what, let me uh, let me put uh, the details on the screen here real quick about uh, about this collet set and this chuck, and uh, and then I'll come right back.
Okay, so here's what I think. Um, I think uh, as a home neophyte hobbyist, I, I think these are a good buy for what they are. I mean, you've seen the price on the screen. Um, like I said, there is a little run out, and I think, but, but I think if you're going to do all operations and one setting in the call it, I think you'd be fine. Uh, and even if you had a, a little bit of run out, you know, say a 2,000 run out or something, um, um, using them to hold uh, uh, a cutter at the end of the headstock or something like that, milling, I think it, you could uh, you can measure and adjust for that. So I think for what they are, I think they're okay. I think I, I would buy them. Um, now look, if you uh, need extreme uh, precision, uh, maybe not, right? Uh, but I, you know, remember I'm a home hobbyist, um, neophyte machinist, and and I think for uh, the the money that they cost, I yeah, I think it's okay. So um, I'll put uh, there's links uh, below the uh, the video uh, for the uh, collet set and the. Um, in the uh, collet chuck and the wrench uh, if you're interested and I think there's a discount coupon again I don't get anything for it uh, the deal was that I do a tool review and uh, I get to keep the tooling and I think for me it'll work because I think uh, I think for most things that I'm going to do in the collet uh, so even with my uh, Morse taper 2 collet has been in situ or uh, in place so um, I'm okay with it, and uh, you know, if uh, if somebody were like me looking for them, I think I would recommend them for you know for for what they are and the price point. Price point. So we we always got to keep that in mind. So um, other than that, hey, if these uh, videos are helpful or entertaining or are useful to you, please consider liking and subscribing and and sharing. And uh, check out some of my other videos where I'm uh, scratch building a Kenneth Wells uh, stationary engine and um, working on a uh, Burke number four milling machine. So other than that, have a blessed day.